just scored the geek of a lifetime, working for world-famous designer, Mr. Frenchie. Wow. I just ate a bunch of sugar. I guess we're both having good days, huh? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a really funny concept that I thought of a while ago, but I finally want to do it. And we're going to be ranking some Disney Channel TV show outfits from Diabolical to I would wear them unironically. I feel like in our day and age, especially on TikTok and Instagram, I constantly see people making fun of the Disney Channel outfit aesthetic that style, wearing like a hundred shirts on top of one another with a bunch of needless accessories. But I have always loved Disney Channel style. When I started posting on TikTok, I used to get comments all the time of people telling me that I dressed like a Disney Channel character, which honestly I feel like might have been meant as an insult, but I personally take it as a compliment. And I made a video about this a while ago on TikTok, but I do what I refer to as the Disney Channel method. Anytime I need to pick out an outfit and I don't know what I want to wear, and basically what the Disney Channel method is, is I pick two pieces from my wardrobe that I wouldn't usually think go together and then I style them in an outfit together. I will put some examples of this on the screen. Anyway, I have picked I think 70 Disney Channel outfits from Disney Channel TV shows that I'm going to be putting into a tier list and we can just chit chat about them and see which ones we like. I have made this tier list on Tier Maker so I will leave a link to it in the description if you want to make your own tier list of these same outfits and definitely let me know which is your favorite of these in the comments. I tried to limit myself by only picking from TV shows that I watched when I was a kid so these are all outfits that I remember seeing as a kid. We're doing outfits from Lizzie McGuire, that's a Raven, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Hannah Montana, Wizards of Waverly Place, Sunny with a Chance, and Good Luck Charlie. And Shake It Up. Those, that's kind of the era of Disney Channel that I watch, and I also feel like that's the era that gets clowned on the most. So we're going to be taking a look at outfits from those shows. I had to bar myself from doing outfits from Disney Channel movies also because I think there would just be too many, but I can definitely do a part two of this if you want to see Disney Channel original movie version of this same tier list. Okay, and now let us take a look at the tiers that I made. <laughs> okay, I hopefully have edited this correctly so that I am on the screen and you can see me, but these are the five tiers that I made for this tier list. Well, I guess we'll start at the top and go to the bottom. The top tier is I want to wear this. So this is an outfit that I probably liked a lot when I was a child and still to this day I would wear completely no changes. I would still wear this outfit. I highly doubt that there will be very many um, in this category, but I wanted to leave like the God tier, S tier open for some really iconic fits. The second orange tier is I wouldn't wear, but it's a serve nonetheless. So maybe it's not my personal style, but I can respect it. It's a serve she slayed while wearing it, though I probably would not. The third tier is needs an update, but is a, but a slay is possible. So these are outfits that I feel like are very of the time, very 2000s, and if there was some things that were a little bit tweaked, they could still fly today, but they are very stuck in their own time. So that goes into the next category, which is it's of its time and cannot be redeemed. So the difference between this one and the last one is that these ones are so of the time that they would be like a costume. Now, the, the last tier, of course, is diabolical for everyone involved. Oh, I also wanted to say, I know there are also so many good, like, Disney Channel stars on the red carpet outfits. I didn't include any of those. These are all costuming from the shows themselves, but I feel like it could be cool to do another edition about stars on the red carpet because, you know, that Ashley Tisdale outfit where she's wearing the boa and the eye mask, you know what I'm talking about. Let us begin. I just realized that I lied and the first outfit in this entire list is not even from a Disney Channel TV show, but it is Miley Cyrus in her hoedown throwdown outfit from the Hannah Montana movie. This, I think it's of its time and cannot be redeemed. The thing that kills me about so many of these outfits 
is maybe they have a really cool like layering piece like I love her skirt here and her boots are cool but just like the plain white t-shirt on the top we needed to have something a little bit more going on up there the combination of the length of the skirt and the open bun down shirt is a no. Here we enter iconic territory. Also, this isn't even from a Disney Channel show. I already failed. I already failed at my concept. We have Lizzie McGuire in her Lizzie McGuire movie performance in Italy outfit. This I want to wear still to this day. So iconic. This silver two-piece outfit. Next outfit. This is Maddie from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I think this episode she was going to prom or like some sort of dance and I remember as a child loving this dress that she wore it was like a long pink dress I couldn't find a picture of the entire outfit um, but she also had her hair in one of those like insane 2000s hairstyles where it was like all twisted up with little clips and stuff I love this I think I'm gonna put it in needs an update but as slay as possible because I feel like the pink necklace the pink hair clips the dress all together is very 2006 or whenever this came out but I think that it could slay nowadays if we like maybe did a different hairstyle or like each of these components were separated next up we have a Hannah Montana outfit so this one we have red fringy jacket the shoes and the skinny jeans together are a little bit diabolical I don't hate the belt on top of the t-shirt look I feel like that's very controversial but I actually like that look with the skinny jeans is okay but I feel like it would not fly nowadays so I think I'm gonna put this in needs an update but as slay as possible if it was that same top jacket belt but with like some baggy jeans and some like chunky boots like I feel like that would slay that's what I'm saying I tried to get so many outfits from shake it up because I feel like those girls were held against their will in some of those outfits but there are like no solo shots of Cece and Rocky separate so almost all the pictures that I have from Shake It Up are them together so I guess we just have to come to a consensus for all of these like even if one is better than the other so this first one we have Cece in yellow distressed skinny jeans with four shirts on the top I have to say I loved Cece's style when I was younger she has like a very I feel like rock star kind of retro look which I still feel like is my personal style which I love I think that they did some crimes on Rocky like what is this outfit that she is wearing in this? <laughs> like the skirt and the top with the belt and the cardigan and the hair I'm sorry like Cece's look is okay here to me like if the jeans were another color it might be okay but Rocky's is so bad that I think I have to put this in diabolical for everyone involved. I'm sorry. We have our first Raven Simone outfit. This is so cute. But she's wearing this like denim coat with the purple fur. And I love how they styled her hair in this. She has like a big flower or bow or something on the back. Once again, I would not have styled this with a plain pink t-shirt underneath. But I do have to say... It's so cute, and I think she's wearing jeans on the bottom, and I am a denim on denim girl. I am in my denim on denim era. I think I'm gonna put this in I want to wear this, because I do want to wear that jacket. First Alex Russo look of the game. I have to say, and I, I don't think this is a hot take, I think Alex Selena Gomez is the best dressed of this era of Disney Channel. I mean, like, I feel like her character, she was kind of like a fashion-y girl. This specific one, however, I don't. I don't know if it's working for me. I like that dress tunic she has on the top, but like the black tank underneath is a no. Those skinny jeans underneath are a no. And I'm not against dress and jeans. I'm actually pro dress over jeans. But the jeans with those booties, like those booties are a crime to me. I hate those. I feel like this is very of its time. So I'm gonna say of its time and cannot be redeemed. I'm sorry, Selena, you have many more slays in the book, including this next one. This, I feel like, is a very iconic Selena, not Selena, Alex Russo outfit. I don't know if this would fly nowadays. I think if I was going to wear this, I would wear the entire thing, except maybe swap the skirt for, like, something more textured, like a leather skirt or a denim, black denim skirt or something. I love mixed textures, mixed patterns, love the accessories, love the hair, love the headband. The colors are everything. I don't know what's happening with the shoes, but this is so cute. I'm going to say I wouldn't wear... Just because I don't think I would wear it nowadays, but it's a serve. She looks so good. Okay, we're back to Hannah Montana. This is a very iconic outfit that I feel like I remember her wearing a lot. I <laughs> That 
tank top with like the studded cross on it is so 2000s to me. I think this is of its time and cannot be redeemed. I'm sorry Hannah Montana, you will have more sleighs in the book though. Next one is London Tipton. This is the Halloween episode, which is my favorite episode of Sweet Love Zan Cody. And also, if you didn't know, Sweet Love Zan Cody is my favorite Disney Channel show. It's the best. This is iconic. I would wear this to a Formula One race with the beret and all and the sparkly bag. Am I gonna say I want to wear this? I don't know if I do. I think I'm gonna say I wouldn't wear but a serve, but I like it. Okay, next up we have Miss Maddie Fitzpatrick, Sweet Love Zack and Cody. I feel like in so many episodes Maddie is just wearing her tipped in candy girl uniform, but when she is out of that uniform, they gave her some cute looks, including this one. This is like a little green short sleeve shrug with that big beaded necklace. Once again, I would not have styled this with a plain white cami tank top underneath, but she looks really cute. I think this is of its time, that statement necklace, but that little bolero would go crazy on Depop. You know that somebody would sell that for like $75. Um, I think it's of its time. No, can it be updated? I feel like the only thing that can be redeemed is the bolero, the little shrug. So I'm gonna say it can't be redeemed, sorry. Next Hannah Montana look, I think this is one of my least favorite Hannah Montana looks. All of the outfits that she wore in like the later seasons, I I do not know them. I also am not a fan of like hot pink and black combination, which I feel like was very hot at the time. Love those boots, I own those. Also love the fingerless glove, but the dress with the pink underneath and the belt, absolutely not diabolical for everyone involved, I'm sorry. We have our first Teddy Duncan look. I hate to say it, but they did not want Bridget Medler to slay. On this show all of the outfits they put her in were so boring and I feel like they wanted her to like look like a mom or like a librarian like I feel like they put her in such mature clothes for her age that most of the time they were so boring I feel like I didn't even pick that many outfits from her for this because I don't know she just didn't have that many this one is okay I feel like it's very of its time I can see that all of these pieces like the boots the skirt and the top being worn separately nowadays so I'm gonna say needs an update okay first sunny with a chance look this is diabolical for everyone involved I'm sorry this next one Hannah Montana outfit I love everything about this outfit <laughs> I feel like this is controversial I love the green I love the glittery top I love the skinny scarf the white moto jacket the belt this bedazzled jeans and the belt chain and the the little stiletto heels like this is so cute I get that if I wore this in public it would clearly be a Hannah Montana cosplay but like I <laughs> I want to wear this it's cute okay I'm putting that in I want to wear next up we have London Tipton so many iconic fits from London Tipton in this list this green one is a serve. I wouldn't wear it just because it's giving St. Patrick's Day costume, but it's so cute. I wouldn't wear it, but it's a serve. Oh, we have another Hannah Montana outfit. This is from season one also, I'm pretty sure. This one, I feel like, can be redeemed. I love the sparkly shrug. Once again, what, where are all these sparkly shrugs coming from? They're so cute. Would not have styled it with a plain teal cami. Love the belt, don't love the jeans don't love the shoes. So I'm going to say needs an update, but it is as slight as possible. Next up we have Queen Harper from Wizards of Waverly Place, the iconic marker dress. You know that I want to wear this. I do. I, I just, I do. I want to wear it. Next we have Miley in Hannah Montana the movie. This is the outfit she wears on her little date with Travi. I would say I want to wear this if I lived on a farm. However, I do not and I have no desire to. So I think I wouldn't wear it, but it is a serve. Next we have really iconic London Tipton look. This is what she wears in the first episode of Yay Me. I love this little sparkly jacket. It's everything. The skirt is giving Charpe Evans. Love the belt. So 2000. I don't think I would wear this, but it is a serve. Next up, we have another Teddy Duncan look. I think this is the last episode of the show. And honestly, I don't hate this. Like, I don't think I would wear that sweater. I wouldn't wear it to serve. Here we have a solo Rocky look. <laughs> this is something. Let's break this down. The fedora. And I need you to know that I was a fedora girly for a long time. Throughout middle and early high school, I was a fedora wearer, um, an avid fedora enthusiast. So I don't hate it. 
I don't love the plaid, but it's of its time, so that's okay. The top with the seahorses is giving Delia's. I probably would have circled it in the mat in the Delia's catalog. The suspenders, I think those are suspenders, I guess. I love the sparkly vest. And I would wear that nowadays. The acid wash jeans are no. So I think the only redeemable thing about this is sparkly vest. So I think this is diabolical for everyone involved. I'm sorry. Another Harper look. Orange look this time. I love it. She is giving orange blossom from Shubber Shortcake. I don't think I would wear this. I think I would actually wear this if there was no headband and no little jacket. I would wear the dress, I'd wear the necklace, I'd wear the earrings. So I think this needs an update, but a sleigh as possible. Next we have iconic queen Maddie Fitzpatrick in the episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody when they did High School Musical and she auditions for Sharpay Evans. Yes, I can identify that from this singular frame. This look is cute. That top is so cute on her and the big chunky charm necklace I feel like that necklace would be so cute nowadays, like a girly on TikTok could totally style that up. So cute. The only thing that's wrong for me is the shorts. I feel like if this top and the charm necklace were with like a pair of flare jeans or even like skinny jeans, it would be better. So I think it needs an update, but the top and the necklaces are a slit. We have another London Tipton. Don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like the dress needs to be a little bit shorter. Don't like the headband either. And usually I do love a fantastical headpiece. I think this is an I wouldn't wear, but it's a serve. Next we have Sunny with a Chance. This is so of its time, that like flannel with the vest on top, with the necklaces, with, you can see the cami underneath, the skinny jeans that are rolled up at the bottom, it's of its time and cannot be redeemed. I'm sorry, Demi Lovato. Another Hannah Montana look from the later seasons that I hate. Once again, love these boots. And she wore those all the time during this era, but I hate the rest of it. It's diabolical, I'm sorry. Here we have Harper. This is her rubber duck look, which I love. I don't know if I would wear this one because I feel like if I was going to wear a Harper look, I would want to wear the marker dress because that one is the cutest and the most recognizable. This one is cute. I don't think I'd wear it, but she is serving. We have our first Lily Trescott look. I feel like controversially, this is so like 2006, but I like it a lot. I like that the top, the yellow top underneath is not just a plain cami as they have been absolutely attacking these other girlies with. I love the beanie. This is a cute outfit. I don't know if I want to wear this, but like I would if it was laid out for me. So I'm gonna say I wouldn't wear it, but it's a serve. Back to Miss Selena Gomez. Look at this fit. You cannot tell me that this is not so cute. The dress is everything. It's giving free people. The scarf, why did everyone abandon scarves for a while? We need to bring scarves back, especially skinny ones that do nothing except for elevate your look. Love the big bangle, love the earrings, love the necklace. The boots are okay. I feel like if they were taller, they would be more cool nowadays, but I still love this look. I want to wear it. I want to wear it. Here we have Miley. Um, this is a crime. The length of the skirt is something. No, the striped socks, no. Is this diabolical for everyone involved? I think it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like that shrug, but everything else is no. Okay. I think this is one of the most iconic Hannah Montana outfits. Teal, skinny scarf. The jacket is okay. I don't love a cropped jacket like that. Can this be updated to modern times? I feel like it could. Take out that brown cami underneath. Maybe change the jacket for something longer or with like a fur trim or something and I think it would slay. So I'm gonna say it needs an update but a slay is possible. This next picture, I couldn't find a solo picture of Raven Simone wearing this outfit, so I had to use this group photo. I am obsessed with this denim outfit. I don't know why they kept putting her in denim on denim, but it's so cute. This one with the 3D applique, I screamed. I don't even remember if she wore this in the show or if this was just in promo photos, but I am obsessed with it. I don't know about those shoes, but it's so cute. I want to wear. Here we have another Alex Russo fit. This is very of its time to me. That long sweater... I feel like if it wasn't striped, I would wear it. I still like the necklaces. The earrings are cool. Her hair looks amazing in this. I feel like this needs an update. Maybe like, like I keep saying, some like non-skinny jeans. Or this like tunic sweater with a mini skirt underneath it that just like peeks out with the boots. That would be really cute. I'm gonna say it needs an update, but it's it could be cute. It has potential. Here's another Alex Russo fit. This one, I feel like it's one of those occasions where it looks good because it's Selena Gomez. And if any other person in the world was wearing this, it probably would not be as cute. I would like this if that 
damn tank top was something, had some texture, had some pattern, something on it. I hate that they just keep doing all these plain old navy tammy tank tops. Like, put something else underneath it. I like the color, but like it needs a little something. I'm gonna say it needs an update. Okay, here we have Hannah Montana. This is also from the Hannah Montana movie. I don't know what I was doing when I was gathering these images. This is one where I feel like the only reason why I want to wear it is because I would be wearing it for a Hannah Montana costume. Because I feel like you can't wear this and it not be that, but needless to say, I want to wear it, so I have to put it up there. Here we have, I think, the number one thing that I want to wear out of this entire game. This is the comic book dress that Alex Russo wore in Wizards of Waverly Place. It's so good. It's so good. It's so cool. The fringe is everything. I love it. If that was paired with like a pair of tall boots, it's everything. I have to put this at the front of I want to wear this because this is my number one I want to wear. Up next we have Harper. I don't know if this is controversial, but I love this look. This is, I don't know if this was supposed to be lamps or what the theme was for this, but I love it. This is like a mid-mod, chunky, colorful lamp look. The dress is cute. I don't know if I do the jewelry, but the hat is cool. Do I want to wear this? I mean, honestly, like, out of all the Harper looks, I feel like I would wear this one. I think I'm going to put it in. I want to wear it. I'm sorry. I have to. Okay, next up, we have another diabolical Hannah Montana look. I feel like this was such a trend during this time to have, like, words just written in, like, a sans serif font printed on stuff. Like, you know how you would go to Justice and they would have, like, a t-shirt or, like, shorts that just said, like, dance or, like, volleyball or, like, whatever sport you played and they would, like, have that for every sport on the same, like, t-shirt or whatever? And the fact that your white skinny jeans here say Teen Rock Dream Spotlight. Um... <laughs> I, this is unforgivable. With the hot pink zebra print top, the cropped metallic jacket, the sparkly pink converse with the uh, tongues all fluffed up. This is might be the worst offense of the entire list so far. I'm not sorry. Moving on. We have Cece and Rocky in the pilot episode of Shake It Up. Now, this is controversial. Cece's outfit, I will wear to this day. Jacket is so cute. Love it. Double tank tops underneath. I don't know about that, but if I had to, to get that jacket, I think I would do it. The sh pants are so cool. They're giving 70s rock star. The boots, splatter paint, combat boots with studs. I still love this outfit. I don't care if you disagree with me. Rocky's is uh, something. I hate to disclose this information on the internet, but I did at the time and actually do still currently own the knee-high converse that she is wearing in this picture. Would you like to see them? Here we have an actual relic. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I don't know if these fit me anymore. I would style them non nonetheless for a Disney Channel party. But so I feel like because of that, I can't knock Zendaya that hard for this because I wore the exact same thing. I hate her jacket here. But her little pink, like, romper thing is okay. The belt is something, but I controversially am going to put this in I want to wear this. Thank you, Cece, for that. We have another Cece and Rocky look here. These ones, I feel like, are not as offensive. Love Rocky's pants. I mean, Cece's pants. Don't know if I'd wear them. Rocky's tank top combinations with that vest cardigan. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is of its time and cannot be redeemed, though I am sorry to say that. Here we have another London Tipton look. This orange sparkly headband with the fur coat is giving me everything that I need. I love it. Don't love those combinations of shirts underneath, but that headband is so beautiful. I, I want to wear it. I want to wear it. Okay, there's more things in I want to wear than I thought were going to be. Next London Tipton look. I love this also, the giant sparkly flowers in her hair. The furry vest, don't like that necklace, but it's cute and this is iconic. I'm gonna say I wouldn't wear, but she's serving. This London Tipton look, however, I this is from the episode, I think this is also from the High School Musical episode where London is playing Sharpay and Mr. Mosby is teaching her how to dance and he does that, you know, little thing. I really like this look. I am a silver girl. Um, she looks like she's going to the Renaissance tour, so I am gonna say I wouldn't wear it, but it's a serve. Okay, here we do have an unfortunate Maddie Fitzpatrick look. Those shorts are a crime. The jacket is a crime. The plain pink tank top is a crime. Why the shoes? 
I like these shoes, but like why this is diabolical for everyone involved. I'm not sorry to say that. We have China and McLean. I don't know why I included this because I didn't really watch Ant Farm. I think I was a little too old for that. But this is diabolical. What are the shoes? What are the tights? Skirt is cute. Floral lace turquoise motorcycle jacket. No. The beanie, no. The colors, no. Diabolical. Sorry, China and McLean. Okay, the comic book dress is the Alex Russo look, but this is also the Alex Russo look. I love this. The boots with the socks and tights layered. I was all about that at this time as well. Layering socks on top of tights. Love the skirt. The purple, I feel like she looks so good in that color. The long cardigan of its time, but like it looks so cute with this outfit. It's so artsy. The necklaces, I like. I I want to wear this one. I'm not sorry to say. I'm not sorry to say. Here's another Alex Russo look. This one, I feel like it's her same formula of like a little sundress with a boot and a scarf and a long chunky, chunky necklace. This one is not giving me as much as the other ones are, so I'm gonna say needs an update. Here we have um, <laughs> Selena Gomez as Michaela on Hannah Montana. I loved this at the time. I don't think I could get into it nowadays. The red fedora is a lot, and that is a lot of red bracelets. So I think I'm gonna say needs an update, but I do enjoy. I do enjoy. This is so of its time. I don't think it can be redeemed. Miley Cyrus look. Here we have another look from the Hannah Montana movie where she's wearing that dress to the lobster dinner. I hate that dress. It's so ugly. Bl electric blue like bolero on top is a no. Here we have a diabolical Demi Lovato look. Honestly, this isn't diabolical, but it's of its time and it can't be redeemed. Okay, I tried. There's not a lot of good pictures online of Lily as Lola in Hannah Montana, which is a crime because I love her. I have dressed up as Lola for Halloween before. I will put a picture on the screen. And she had some really cute outfits. Okay, it might have cut off, but I put Lola in of its time and cannot be redeemed, but I'm sorry to say that I had to do that. Here we have a cute Maddie Fitzpatrick look. This, I don't know what episode this is from, but she's wearing a really cute, like, turquoise beaded tank top with a turquoise sheer bolero on top. That would go crazy on TikTok. So I, I want to wear that. I do. Here we have another Alex Russo look. This is on her same formula, little dress. This one is so freaking cute. Would wear this dress. I don't think I'd wear those shoes. So I think I'm going to say I would wear this, I wouldn't wear this, but it's a sleigh because I think I would wear that dress if it was with some big boots. Okay, this is an old Alex Russo look. I think this is from season one, probably. I mean, her hair, she looks so young in this. I feel like this is something that I would have really wanted to wear at the time. However, it does not translate to the year of our Lord 2024. I think it's of its time. It can't be redeemed. Sorry. This look, this is like not even relevant. This is from that episode of Wizards of Rarely Place where I don't know if they're like time traveling, but they do a bunch of segments in different decades. And this is the outfit that Selena wore in the 70s section of the show. The hair, the dress, the shoes is everything I want to wear 100%. Next up we have Lennon Tipton. This is cute. Little white furry cardigan with the white headband. Um, I wouldn't wear this, but it's cute. And also, Taylor from High School Musical is in that picture. Here we have another Raven Simone outfit. This, I don't know what episode this is from. She's wearing, like, a green, beautiful dress that also would have gone absolutely crazy on Depop with the matching scarf. I want to wear. I would wear that, like, to a wedding. Here we have a diabolical Teddy Duncan look. This is straight going into diabolical, but this is what I'm talking about. They dressed her like she was 40 years old. Like, what is that jacket? What is that top? Why is her hair styled like that also? Okay, here we have another Lola look that I hate to say is not giving. I think this is diabolical for everyone involved. Why did they layer those shirts together? Why does that shirt have those bows in the middle? The belt is Minnie Mouse. The bracelets do not go together. It's diabolical. I'm sorry, Lily. I'm sorry. Here we have London in not her best look. Don't love those pants. The top is cute. Hat is something. I think this is of its time and cannot be redeemed. Okay, well here we have a cute Alex Russo look. I think this needs an update because why is she wearing those capri length leggings underneath this dress? Everything else is cute. Dress is cute. Converse are cute. The um, fishnet arm socks are cute. Necklaces, bag. Just why the capris? I feel like some of you are like, all of this is wrong. But I... It's the capris for me. I'm sorry. It needs an update. Here we have Selena in another very of its time look. Those are those even 
considered capri skinny jeans, I guess. Like the beanie, hate the tops together, hate those pants. Why is she wearing knee-high socks also? Cannot be redeemed. It's of its time. Here we have another rocky look. This I like. <laughs> I would never wear this nowadays, but that top, the sparkly top is cute. I also had a good number of Union Jack tops when I was um, living in 2012. Once again, the acid wash jeans and the cut of these, like, why are they capris of its time and can't be redeemed? I'm sorry to say. Here we have another Bridget Mendler look. This one is younger looking, which is better to me. I don't think I would wear this. I feel like if I was going to wear this, I'd do a different shoe. Those like ankle booties are so like 2014, but I think it could slay. So I think it needs an update. This is actually what sparked the idea for this video at all. I saw this picture on Instagram and I sent it to my friends and I said I would wear this on ironically. See, this is what I'm talking about with the tank top thing. Like this tank top they put her in, it's still a plain white tank top, but it has texture. It has that rhinestone beading that ties it into the rest of the look, and it doesn't just look like they threw it on her as like a modesty thing, you know? Like, it, it's cute, it adds to the look, it elevates it. I think she's not wearing any shoes, but that's honestly a serve also. What can I say? I want to wear it. This is from an Instagram called Selena's Closet. I really specifically wanted this outfit because this is the outfit where Alex forms a band and she plays drums. And of course, after I saw that, I wanted to be in a band and play drums. This shirt she's wearing is like a fence, but I love the vest. I still like vests to this day. I love wearing them, and every time I wear them, I feel like I'm on Disney Channel. This one, I think, needs an update, but it could slip. Last one we have is this adorable dress. This is also from Selena's Closet that she wore in that episode where they go to the Angel place. This dress is so cute. I don't know if it's from Free People, but it is giving Free People. And it's so cute. She looks amazing. Her hair is so cute. The necklaces are everything. I want to wear it. Okay, I can't believe how many things I've put in I want to wear this. But I think that's just how it is. I think I've just committed fully emotionally to being a Disney Channel dressing adult. And I just have to accept that. So this is my full tier list. Thank you for hanging out with me. Feel free to let me know what you think about my opinions of Disney Channel outfits in the comments and let me know which of these outfits you would like to wear as well. And let me know if you want to see a part two where I do Disney Channel movie outfits because there are some really great ones. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from me, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok where I post a lot more frequently. And I'll see you next time. Bye!